Hey everybody, John Tate back again. Another video. Um, this one is for our advanced kids. Um, if you feel like this is something for you, but you don't know your level, try it out. You'll be able to see, all right? So, a couple things that I want to talk about. Um, sorry, John Tate, 43 Hoops facility. As you guys can see, there is no one here, but I do want to thank Coach CJ Shoes. So if you've seen my intermediate video, Coach CJ has been helping us out. He's been so kind to give me those personally so I can use those for the rest of our drill. Um, you probably can't see it and I should have changed the color, didn't think about it, but uh, there's a cone there. And the cone is exactly six feet. Bing! Six feet being the quarantine that we're in um, and the distance, the social distancing that we have to do. I think it's a good time to apply that to basketball, right? Especially if you have a gym or a court, what a great time to apply six foot and social distancing to a game. So, with my creative brain and the, the fact that I don't have any hair on it, makes me think a little bit better. Uh, I decided to implement some drills or some skills that you advanced humans can do um, as far as when you're six feet away from your, from your defender. Now, a couple things before we get into the drill that I wanna talk about. Doesn't happen often, right? Six feet does not happen often. Maybe on a late closeout, um, maybe, maybe uh, for a defender that doesn't wanna be on you or a pick and roll situation where they switch, right? Um, but a lot of those times, and, and this is more from my experience, is I'm probably working downhill too, right? If I'm going at a, if I'm going at a defender, I'm probably trying to close that gap, right? And what I need to do in order to close that gap, and that doesn't, that doesn't really matter what move I do, is I need to be able to control my pace and my tempo, okay? So what I've done, and what I will be doing for you guys, is I've created six feet between my cone, which I can change the color of, but my cone, maybe I'll put a chair out there, and, uh, and, and uh, CJ shoes, sorry. And um, if you guys don't have these things at home, hopefully you have an extra pair of shoes at home that you can just lay out in front of you. Um, if you don't have a chair, you lay down anything, grab some chalk, um, a rock, right? Because remember, the cones and the, and the shoes, those are to mimic defenders, and those are things that we don't necessarily run over, or you're gonna get a personal player. Uh, but one thing that I want you guys to uh, make sure that you guys are doing is making sure that you close that gap. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start at half court, I'm gonna head downhill. Now, a lot of people say speed kills. Yes, speed is a very dangerous weapon. But if you don't know how to use that, sometimes you, you become out of control, right? A car that has a thousand horsepower, but no steering wheel, becomes a dangerous vehicle, right? So, what, what I want you guys to do is I want you guys to make sure that you guys are able to control your speed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start at half court, I'm gonna approach the cone. Now, whatever I do with the cone, it, it doesn't matter. But that's where I'm gonna, that's where I'm gonna change my speed. I'm gonna change my level of play. I'm gonna change my speed. And that's where I'm gonna work on my moves. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do a simple crossover. And as you guys can see, and I'm gonna do a couple of these, I want you guys to see how I lean a certain direction, how I sell myself in a certain direction in order to change directions. And that is the, that is the, the social distancing or the basketball distancing, that's the gap that you wanna close, right? Because a defender, it, th their job is to make you, make you feel uncomfortable, make you do something that you don't wanna do. You wanna apply the same pressure, right? So, So there's four. Four layups, got my blood boiling. But one thing that I did, slowed my pace, right? I was only 
as fast as I could be, for lack of a better term. I was only going as fast as I can from the cones to the shoes. Now, as an advanced kid, my expectation for you is that you have a little bit more control of your body than an intermediate or beginner would. So, one of the things I want to tell you or explain to you is I broke myself down, right? You can hear my feet. You can hear how they became closer together instead of that jogging pace. Another thing that I want you guys to see is that I'm leaning and looking. Very deceptive things and you don't need a lot of speed. If I can lean and look, I could probably engage my defender or at least engage his mind to think this is the direction I wanna go, right? Maybe just a ball won't work, maybe just some eyes won't work, but if I can put it all together, right? If I can get the whole bag and lean, look, drive my shoulder, my inside shoulder, to change directions, most of the time I'm gonna get the advantage, especially, especially if I'm going downhill. It's tough to guard, it's tough to guard. You see a lot of your favorite players do it today. Kyrie Irving usually is breaking down defenders from the volleyball line. James Harden, he's breaking down defenders or he's heading downhill off of pick and roll majority of the time. It's tough to guard, but the best thing about those guys is they know how to use those mechanics. They know how to use those things. So when you guys are watching, sorry, when you guys are doing this drill, make sure that you guys are implementing some of these things. Maybe even sitting down something in front of the shoes, right? That way you can touch to engage your shoulders. So as I approach, I touch, right? And then I change directions. As you guys can see, when I lean down to touch, inside shoulder comes. See that, ball's in my left hand. Right shoulder comes. This is gonna engage my defender or make them believe that I'm going to my left, setting up my feet, couple chop steps, changing directions. Another thing that you guys wanna make sure you, you, you picked up as I was doing this, as I didn't round out, right? I went right off of CJ's shoes, right off of the shoes. I didn't go out too far, I didn't, try to make a big loop into my layup, nothing fancy, get downhill, right? That's the game. Close the distance, go buy it, okay? Now, for a drill, if you guys needed a drill out of this, the layups I did, I would switch directions every time, okay? I would go right, left, as you guys saw. I would also change my move every single time, every time. And don't forget, a, a single direction move, double direction, I, it, it, you guys are advanced kids. You guys can do those things yourself. One thing I want you to do, use your brain. Be creative. Don't be a machine to this video. I want you guys to be creative when you're watching this and know that I just went off, I just went off the things that I know are in my bag. I just went off those things. I decided to apply it to this video. I decided to apply it to this drill. Do the same. You guys are at home, you're quarantined. You know, this is a time to use your brain as much as you can. So while you're watching this video and you go outside and you do this drill, be creative about your moves. And also, be intentional about your moves. Don't make a mistake and jog back into your layup. Don't miss layups and be like, oh, no. If I missed a layup right there, you guys would've saw me hit the ground for 10 push-ups, okay? I don't miss layups though. If I would've, <laughs> check out the intermediate video. But, you know, if I, if I mishandle the ball, I'm, I'm gonna jog back up and I'm gonna do it over again. Same speed, keeping that, sorry, same pace, same pace keeping that intensity, keeping my, my brain set on I'm getting better for a game situation and not to, not to be in practice, all right? Now, I'm gonna add another drill. So out of that drill, I changed the direction drill. If I was gonna add, if I was gonna make this a challenge or a drill, I'm not missing my layups, that's one. Uh, two though, I'm gonna maybe add in uh, some jump shots, okay? So maybe next time I'll do some jump shots or uh, Maybe I'll add in a certain amount until I can stop, right? So, for you though, I'm gonna do six. I'm gonna do six. And how that's gonna look is I'm going to put in one shot, change of direction, heading downhill, closing that, closing that gap as fast as I can. Um, and then I'm gonna do one layup. I'm gonna go right back, same direction, and I'm gonna make my jump shot. Now, I'm not only just gonna make six shots, I gotta make them back to back. So I gotta make my jump shot, right? And I gotta make my layup. Layup should be easy, right? But I have to make my jump shot right after that, okay? Now I can still switch up my moves if it helps you to be more consistent as far as the drill goes, right? And, com and completing the drill, then maybe you just add on, I'm gonna cross over, cross over, I'm gonna cross over into my layup, I'm gonna cross over into my jump shot, right? Um, 
For my advanced kids, you know the footwork. If I'm going to my right. Haha, I got you guys engaged. Yes, it's left, right. If I'm going to my left, what's my footwork? Good job, right, left. So I'm gonna start this drill here. Six shots for six times around, that's my goal. Not because I'm tired. That would only be two, right? I made both from the right, both from the left. That would be two, four more. So, made 12 shots. Um, whew, haven't done that in a bit. Quarantine, quarantine, quarantine. So, I made my 12 shots. Um, maybe moving on, I would do a different type of layup, right? Maybe going to my right, but finishing on the left side. Going to my left, finishing on the right side. And then when I add in my jump shot, maybe doing some type of stop. Um, that's all stuff that I want to get into you guys later. We have a lot of stuff that we're going to be releasing. But as far as my advanced group goes, making sure you give yourself a challenge, right? Or maybe give yourself a, a discipline. If you're missing layups, if you're missing layups, then your goal should be maybe to five push-ups every time you miss a layup, right? If you miss two shots in a row, maybe. Maybe, you know, this is a challenge, the whole entire advanced group is a challenge for you. Then maybe if you miss two shots in a row, that should be push-ups. Or maybe that's a half corn back or down the block or around the cul-de-sac, however you guys want to do it. That can be your, your, or your discipline. One thing I, I do want to share with you guys though, as an advanced group, um, I think a lot of it is now control. Um, once you get or you start to deem yourself advanced, it's a lot about control, being able to control yourself, the game, the tempo, your pace, all of those things. If you're gonna be, if you can be in control of yourself, um, you're gonna be a tough guard. You're gonna be a tough guard. All that stuff about the moves and stuff, great, but uh, I'll speak from personal experience, guys, is that always been a fast human, always been fairly quick. Um, 
once I start to control those things, once I start to understand that even though I go half the speed of other people, I'm still twice as fast, that started to allow me to open up my game. That started to help me understand the player I am. And once you can understand the player you are um, at any level, beginner, intermediate, advanced, you can start to tailor your game, control it, hone it, love it, start to feel passion about the game, all right? For my advanced humans, appreciate you guys watching this video. If you guys need to give us any feedback, go ahead and log on to 43hoops.com. Um, on there, there's a quick link to any videos that you want to see via YouTube. Um, you can also follow us. You can also follow us at, man, all this, it's got to clear up. Uh, if you, need, you can follow us at our Instagram page, 43 Hoops, I think it's BBA. Um, maybe if you type in 43 Hoops, you'll find us, obviously. And then if you guys need to, or if you have one, a Facebook, you can follow us on there. If uh, your parents control your social media, they know what Facebook's all about. Um, outside of that, you guys appreciate it. Uh, we'd love any feedback from this video as well. So go ahead, reach out to us. If you need to spot, speak to a specific trainer, it would always get back to myself, any of us. Uh, also, thank you, CJ, for the shoes. You guys have a good day. Thanks.